factorials and permutations. Here's another question on this topic. Solve for n if np5 equals to 42 np3 where n is greater than 4, right? Now, whenever you have npr in general, npr, then n is always greater than or equal to r. Correct? That you should remember. So at times, we may not write this condition, right? Okay. Now, let us solve for n. So what we are given here is that np5 is equal to 42 times np3. npr in general is what? npr in general is n factorial divided by n minus r factorial, correct? So we could write this as, uh, we could also write this as n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 times n minus 4 times. So at the end, it is n minus r, so it is n minus 5 factorial, correct? Divided by n minus 5 factorial, correct? So always uh, it will cancel out. So we are always left with five terms. One, two, three, four, five. I hope this is absolutely clear. So on the right side, I will not write in this fashion. I will say 42 times. We want three terms, correct? n times n minus 1 times n minus 2, correct? Since we know that n minus 3 factorial will cancel out, right? n minus 3 factorial will cancel out correct slowly we'll get used to this so that is what we get now we could actually from both the sides also cancel out n n minus 1 and n minus 2 n n minus 1 n minus 2. so we are canceling these out also as we know n is greater than 4 and therefore n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 is never equal to 0, right? That is why we are cancelling them out. Cancelling means dividing both sides by this term. You cannot divide by 0. So since we are absolutely clear that n is greater than 4, we can do this. Now that's very important to understand and appreciate, right? I hope this point is well taken care of. So what are we left with? We are left with n minus 3 times n minus 4 equals to 42. Is it okay? Now, this is basically a quadratic equation and product of two numbers is 42. 6 times 7 is the answer which you could give. But is it really that? Let us see. Estimated was 6 times. So I'm just writing 6 times 7 is 42. Uh, that means uh, n could be what? We could get 6 and 7 for n equals to 10. Do you see that? Anyway, so at times, at this stage, you can estimate the answer. Now, it's a good idea to estimate this answer if it is a multiple choice question. Is it okay? If it is a multiple choice question. So many times these, these days, you know, you have only multiple choice questions. So I will not like you to go further but estimate and get the answer. Now let's do the quadratic equation. When you expand, you get n square minus 4n minus 3n plus 12 equals to 42. That gives you n square minus 7n plus 12 minus 42 equals to 0, n square minus 7n, and this gives you minus 30 equals to 0, and 30 and this combination you can get with n minus 10 times n plus 3, correct? n plus 3 equals to 0. And solving this, you get n equals to 10. Perfect. So you do get your answer as n equals to 10, correct? So that is really the right answer. But the idea here is when you're solving, when you are solving such questions, so the idea here is that when you are solving such questions, in that case, there are moments when you could think and get the answer, save some time, especially when it is a multiple choice question. That's what I want to emphasize. 
I hope you like this trick. Thanks for watching. Share my tricks with your friends. If you like it, that'll be great. Thank you and all the best.